Hi guys, Yonatan here to talk about one of my favorite bands, Tame Impala. Tame Impala, the solo recording project of Kevin Parker, has gained popularity over the past couple of years by creating a sound that is often dubbed as dreamy or trippy. Many attribute this to his extensive use of synthesizers, heavily effective guitars, and vocals washed in reverb and delay. One thing that is often overlooked though in his music is his distinct use of chords. You may have noticed this when playing the song simply on an acoustic guitar or piano. They remain Tame Impala-y. How does Kevin do this? Well, one harmonic device that he uses is the creative application of major seven chords. What is a major seventh chord? Well, according to common music theory, the major seven chord is a chord that is built from a major third from its root, which means four half steps, a perfect fifth from its root, which is seven half steps, And of course, a major seven, which is 11 half steps from the root. Use this formula on any note and you'll get a major seven chord. Quick one for the guitarists out there or anyone interested in learning guitar. Here are some shapes you can use to create this sound. With each of these shapes, the chord will always be named after the lowest note. If you want the chord to start on the D string, you can use this shape. This one on the A string. And this one on the E string. In the traditional major scale, we only have two major seven chords. If we took C major, for example, we would have only C major seven, which is the one chord, and F major seven, the four chord. This isn't a lot, but Kevin's made some good use of these chords. For example, on B above it, which is in the key of G major. <laughs> Verse of Love Paranoia, which is an F major. We can expand our palette of major sevens by modifying certain notes and chords in the scale to adapt them to this quality. An example would be the flat seven major seven. We call it that because we take the seventh note of the major scale and take it down a half step. This chord can be found in arguably Tame Impala's biggest hit, The Less I Know The Better. The song is in the key of E natural, whose seventh note is D sharp. Therefore, we have to take it down a half step to D natural, and from there we'll get our flat seven major seven, D major seven. Let's take a listen. Oh my love. Another example would be flat three major seven which appears in the bridge of Apocalypse Dreams. The song is in the key of E flat major, which has a G, so we'll have to take it down to G flat to get the chord we're looking for. To top off this video, let's try to implement some of those chords on our own progression. But before we do that, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and that little bell so you don't miss out on any of my next videos about how your favorite artists write their songs. Speaking of which, if you have any suggestions for musicians you'd like me to analyze, let me know in the comments. Okay guys, so uh, let's write this piece in the key of D major. To keep things relatively simple, we'll start out with our one chord, D major 7. <laughs> Now remember earlier we mentioned there are two major sevens in the major scale? Well, let's use that other one. That would be our four chord, G major seven. Now to add some psychedelia to the mix, let's use that chord we learned from Apocalypse Dreams, the flat three major seven. Now remember in this case, we're in the key of D, so our three would be F sharp, meaning our flat three would be F, so that gives us F major seven. Now I'm going to add one more chord that isn't a major 7, but it's still native to the key of D. That would be E minor 7. And 
it works well because E is right next to F, so you get some nice bass movement there. This happens in a lot of Tame Impala songs. Now, if you're like me, you can already tell that these chords sound just like Tame Impala. But if you're still not convinced, me and my friend Matt in class, one of my favorite drummers in the world, are going to give it a shot at taking just these four chords and making them sound as much like Tame Impala as possible. Hope you enjoy it, and see you next time.